right guys welcome back to stuck on an island where i'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling so we are still up on this hill yo we threw down on the last video just now if you guys didn't catch that video just stop this one right here i'll put the next video somewhere up top there you guys can click over to that one we did a octopus salad it was a fried octopus salad it was it was delicious it was delicious i'm not just saying that to say that but anyway right now sunlight is going down so we're going to try to um do this just really quick it's going to be fish and chips. It's not going to be, I don't think it's a traditional, the way they do it in England, but I'm just going to do it my way because I know you guys want videos nonetheless. So this one is for you guys. Um, yeah, the fish is already marinated and everything like that. So I'm going to cut up the potatoes and I'm doing a combo. It's actually going to be sweet potato and Irish potato. So it's both in one. It's going to be a blend. And yeah, that's the whole idea of this whole, oh my gosh, the sand is beating me, bro the whole idea of this video all right so I already washed these potatoes from home already so I'm not worried about that you see how it's lost some of the redness I scrubbed it when I'm saying scrub the block off of your skin I scrubbed the red off this potato skin you know if you guys had a grandmother like me when your grandmother beard you that's what she would say to me like you get a really good shower anyway so those are the potatoes um, what's important is make sure you get some some water and some salt because, you know, these potatoes are going to get very ugly so very quickly when the oxygen hits it. So, throw some water in that. A little thing, thing right there, thing along. And uh, you just learned something? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Out here teaching the ladies. <laughs> All right. Put some salt in that water. Like SpongeBob, but I said, bring it around town. Bring it around town. All right, so we're good with that. Um, I like doing my potatoes very rustic, so I keep the skin on. If you don't want the skin on, don't. But skin has important nutrients. And what I know doesn't have nutrients is the sand <laughs> on my cutting board. So I get rid of some of that. Well, as much as I can. Alright, so let's get to work with this. Look for any ugly parts. Like the extra dark, rotten looking parts that you might see. That seems to be fine. Usually in the kitchen they would cut it and whatever and waste a lot of potato just to get a shape. But I'm not doing that. For me, this particular shape is very natural to a potato and I'm not wasting anything. So I'll just let it into the water. I'm sure you can cut up a potato in more ways than this, but for me, this way is just uh, pretty easy. So they're almost like wedges, but not quite. And the reason why in the kitchen they normally cut it in a particular shape or julienne or whatever they want to call it is because they're all gonna fry at a different time if they all are at different shapes so you don't want some potatoes cooked and some not cooked that's the vibe now this Irish as we call it in Jamaica this one's a little bit longer so yeah Facts, facts, Can facts. So I'm not sure if you hear Sarah, but she said it's a quick meal for the kids. Um, homemade fries, don't have to go KFC all the time. So she talking facts with that one. Quick and easy. I mean, some kids will be like, Mommy, the fries are ugly. <laughs> Let's be real, yo. You're going to have them chilling. I'm like, Mommy, the fries are ugly. I'm not eating that. So listen, the KFC, that nothing on these fries. You see me? But it's really based on how you grow your children still, you know. True. Because if you, if you associate them to these things early, they will, learn to appreciate they will, they will understand that, okay, this is also food. Yeah. You know, there's, there's different ways to cooking, so. But it's all matter how you raise them, so. 
All right. Um, this is a big sweet potato. Uh -huh. See, the, the surface is moving from me, so it's not easy. Again, it's a very rustic dish, so don't worry too much about it. These are tougher potatoes, so I'm gonna do them a little bit thinner if I can. Even though my cutting board, like I said, is moving. Honestly, I prefer regular potato. Really? Yeah. I, I think I prefer sweet potato fries. I don't know if it's because of sweet yeast, it just with the sauce. I think for me, it's because of just the traditional fries. I'm just used to the traditional taste, but I do appreciate the sweet potato. It's a good, it's a good um, contrast. Yeah. So there's many ways to fry fries. Some persons um, double fry it. I will do that if I have the time. Some persons fry it from um, cold oil until it gets hot. <laughs> yeah, there's just the, yeah different signs to get the the crispiness, as they would say, like ah, so you get a super crispy bro. Is it me? I say, but for me, it's uh, I think this is enough. Yeah. I think that's enough fries. I'm not gonna kill it. Cause it's getting late. So as I was saying about the coloration, you see it here getting brown. It's gonna get ugly, but whatever. That just means it's real food. All right, so put that back in on my mini fridge. So that's the potatoes there, done in that water. You realize this has been in there for a while and it hasn't changed color. So, yeah, the water helps with that, with the salt. Uh, yeah, nice little couple down there somewhere. So here's a bit popular. There's people that's gonna walk past and whatever. Anyway, let's move on to the butter for the fish and that's gonna be the last part. Well, we're gonna cook it as well. All right, so in any good kitchen, you don't really waste stuff, right? So there's a bit of um, egg wash from the last, but we just made with the octopus just now. So I'm just gonna keep that because it's just the herbs and whatever. Same thing that I have already for the fish, so I'm gonna keep that. And um, oh, we need some beer. So Sarah is the native beer puller with her, bro. I do not do this because my teeth is not that strong. Yes, I would recommend everybody do this, but you know. Yeah. Whoa, bro. The man them are going to roast me. The man going to say, yo, dog, the girl. Hold it to me. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about them, my G. You see me? Anyway, so we're going to get some beer. We're making like a beer butter. I've never heard of fish and beer, though. So it's not, it, the beer is really for aeration. That's what it does. So again, we have the, the flow that we used. In the previous video, it has the same same um, seasonings inside of it. So what we're trying to make is a it's like a light butter. It shouldn't be like it shouldn't be pancakey. It should be very light, but just enough to coat the fish. So yeah, what the beard does it. Um, you see all the air bubbles this year already. So all these air bubbles. That's what they, they, they say is going to happen with the, the crust. So okay. It's going to be, you know, aerated and crispy or whatever. Yeah, to be quite honest, uh, for me, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a hit or miss. <laughs> really is a hit or miss. It's whatever. Let's see. Let us see how this turns out. So, I'm, I think I'm going to add a little bit more. There could be a bit of science to it, but, um, you know, Jamaican people, we stay early. We just throw things. Okay. Is the mean we just bash things in there?
But I've made I've made bay butter sauce before, a couple times well. But like I say, it's whatever. Anyway, trying to get rid of as much lumps as I can. Even though we like the things them fluffy, we like them smooth. <laughs> I know some of you think that soy vlogs is rude. Should I stop? Better me stop while I'm on that top. <laughs> Alright, so little bit of egg wash and that is a vibe, isn't it? And um so oh 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 I was thinking we could make like some some onions, some onion rings? Onion rings. Yes, that's a vibe. So a little bit late, but I know Sarah, you love onion rings. Yep. I, I for one personally have never made them. I lie. I've made them once. I think I've made them once and they failed epically. But I think the reason why they failed, I was young when I did it though. The butter was a bit too, was too watery. So that same butter that I have over there, what I'm going to do after I make the fish, I'm going to thicken it up a bit more so it's more of a coat on this and then I will um, put the onions in there. I don't think it's much rocket science to be honest with this but yeah you guys get the idea. So I'm just going off what I see at Burger King. <laughs> the thickness of the onion. I'm trying to replicate that because it's, it's got to be a reason why they do that way. Um, Yeah, so you want, yeah, you have to get that good mix of the butter and the onion. I'm not going to make too much because I don't really fancy onion rings. Well, if you fancy it like me, put it in the comments, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So I, I think that's, you want more? Okay. Come on. Let's... That's fine. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Love it. Let's try it. It's a chai. All right, mad. Love to see. And of course, a drink of beer full of chef. Why well, got on the video here? Yeah? <laughs> you don't like red stripe? Like yeah, cause I'm big people things. The big people. Sorry, Child. Anyway, um, so that's that. All right, so we're gonna go down to the kitchen and um, finish this dish off. Like the last two videos have been like really quick and easy dishes that you guys can try at home. Why not? Let's get this fire started. Let's get this fire prepared and ready. So I think that looks about good. Fine. So, we're gonna let our oil heat up a little bit, and then should we fry the fry the fries first? We we we're gonna fry the 
going to fry the fries first, then the fish, then the onion rings. The reason why I'm frying the onion rings last is because the butter has to be a thicker butter. So instead of starting with a thick butter to water it down, I'm going to keep it the way it is. And then when I'm done, I can thicken the butter and then they need them. So, just in case it gets dark, I'm gonna have my, my lantern stick. Cause I brought my lantern this time, just in case. Yep. Fire. So we got our fries. Usually if you have like a, a napkin, you can dry them off to lessen the popping that's gonna happen. But I don't have a napkin, so it is what it is. Just saw a bunch of black residue. I think that's the from the previous dish that got burnt at the bottom, but it is what it is. You guys can see what I'm talking about, but here's some of the black specks, and that's from the um, the octopus where I guess the flower at the bottom burnt a bit, but it's no big deal. If you were at a restaurant, then it is a big deal. But anyway, let that fry up a little bit and take in the the good view, like that couple there. And that couple there. My friend just uh, watch the pot. <laughs> eh? I'm waiting. <laughs> Hungry. Hungry. Already you just had a salad. Listen, salad only is an appetizer. Okay? It's an appetizer? Yeah, this is the main main course. Oh my god. <laughs> I am look cook. You guys can call me Fry Daddy. <laughs> I legit can tell. That dart is gonna catch us a bit. So I'm pre I'm preparing my my lampy lamp. So that's my little lamp stick, and up here I'ma drop my lantern on top. Boy, <laughs> and I'm gonna be ready when it gets too dark. Yo, let's test fit it, yo, cause you know what I'm saying. It gets too dark, and I can't even do that. I do try to turn it. Oh, wait, yo, you better not fall, bro. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I don't know if you guys can see, but just back there, I got someone trying to catch us a fish. I'm lying, but yeah, he's, he's, he's fishing. I don't know what you're going to try to catch out here in those rough seas, but he's trying something, yo. Yo, fishing is really a hopeful man's game. Like, just be, 
Well, a prepared hopeful man, but you can only hope that the fish bite. All right. Still are a bit soft, so they have to be in there a bit longer. All right. So this is the first fry. Did you end? Did it taste good? Yeah. So like Sarah said, it was okay. It needed to ferment more, but that's the first fry. We're gonna double fry it, but it is already cooked through on the inside. But it's not like firm, firm as yet. To be honest, cooking in the dark, when it gets dark, it's kind of kind of cool. I like night cooking. When you have light. All right, so you have our fish here already marinated. Again, the same herbs. I put all the ingredients in the description box, but ginger powder, cayenne pepper, um, salt, black pepper, yeah. And I was gonna drop it inside of the, the wet butter. that fish again it's one of my preferred fishes bassa nice flanks of bassa or fillet sorry and then again it's a wet butter so shouldn't be too thick should cover the fish and let's drop her in I don't think this fish is going to have a, br a brilliant color because of the black from the pan, but couldn't really escape that today. Should be a pretty, pretty quick fry up. But you see the talking about the black looks good still all uh, right remember if you guys like when we take you on the outdoors and you know sh do some adventures like these drop a like on the video i'd appreciate it Or if you like seeing Sarah in the video, because I know a lot of you here are because of Sarah. And again, her ring, the ring on her finger, she ain't married. She ain't got a boyfriend. The ring is from her grandmother that passed away, yeah? Yep. And she wears it in memory of that. But anyway, you can actually see the, the difference in how this fish is fried. We, fit, we fry the same fish for the tacos, and there's a lot of aeration going on there. It's way different. And over here we have Sarah making the butter for the onion rings a bit thicker. You can probably put a little bit more flour. Just a little bit more. 
So by the time I take off the fish, I can restore the onion and zim, and we can be done. All right, this fish is definitely done. It looks like when you get um, sweet and sour chicken from America, how the Chinese do it up there. Very bubbly. The aeration is very different. Bring you guys up to the light. You see? That's what it looks like. And those are onion rings, the thicker butter that Sarah just did. I'm just gonna get those coated up and give it a quick fry. It's gonna caramelize the onions, get them sweeter, yeah. But again, I don't the last time I did this, it wasn't perfect. But now maybe with a bit more knowledge I'm better. Oh yeah! So they puffed up pretty good, but the fire is really high. But yeah, give them two more seconds and take them off. Look at these, yo. Oh, look at these, yo. Yes, got them. It's not bad. It's not the best. It's not bad. Is the inside cooked? Yeah. It's cooked? Mm hmm. Yeah, maybe the batter. Yeah. The, the batter is what, like, it needs seasoning? Actually, the inside says, yeah, maybe a little bit more seasoning for the outside. But, but the inside, inside is nice. good? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so we see how we can improve on that for the next time. But I don't really, I don't really make onion rings. It's not my dish, really. All right, I'm going to throw these fries back in, finish them off. then we should be good so we should be eating in the next like five six minutes hoorah all right so we have the fries you guys probably can't see that right now but i'm just gonna season it up with a little bit of salt oh fyi i kind of ruined the fries not kind of but the sweet potato fire was too hot those got burned so I just, I just tossed all of those and that's because of course it's, it has sugars in there so the sugars are going to they're going to caramelize and burn faster than the other potato I'm just going to toss those around a bit See how windy is like it's moving the fries and everybody. It's ridiculous. So I just had a a bit of the, the onion rings. It's not bad. It tastes similar to Burger King's own to be quite honest. Well, for me. Tastes is pretty similar but of course as Sarah said could season up a little bit more as in the butter for that and then 
put the fries there. And that's our little dish. All right, Sarah. Where to start? I'm gonna start with the fries. Possible. So the fries is pretty good. You can tell that it's homemade fries, but it's really nice. You know that seasoning, that seasoning just made with the um, ginger, cayenne, and yeah. Mm. Oh, this good. It. So it's good. Compare the butter to the last time because it's the same fish, kind of similar seasoning a little bit, but the butter is different. What do you think about the butter? I feel like this one is better. The butter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this one is better. I don't know about yeah, but I actually like when the fish on the inside, the flesh, you know, it stays like this. That's a fried fish must taste. Okay, that's good. Mm. So the... I don't know what to describe it as, but... What about the sauce? Does the sauce pair mm -hmm. well with it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The sauce definitely, you know, top it off. The fries, of course, as I said before, I'd probably ha add some dried parsley on top of it as well. Blah, blah, blah. But for outdoor dish... This is Comes out good. Yeah. Okay. And those things are comfy about it. Nice. <laughs> How would you score this dish? Mm. Definitely not a ten because them onion rings are they're good. Yeah, the, the onion rings. Uh, mm, I would say maybe like a an eight. An eight. I think the fish bring it up. Okay. Yeah, the fish is what bring it up. Awesome. Yeah, but this don't taste like Burger King onion rings at all. <laughs> you think Burger, Burger King one tastes better? Yeah. I don't know. Something with the butter. But we get it right next time. You know? I ain't doing it again. <laughs> that's a fact. I don't I, I don't I don't like onion rings. Alright guys, so that's basically that dish that we did today. Alright, so I'ma try it really quick. Um I'll give you my opinion. Onion rings first. I just don't like onion rings in general. But the inside of the onion is sweet. Yeah. Which you want. The butter. Yeah, the butter can be improved on. Uh, maybe add some more spices or whatever. But as I said, I don't think I'm going to ever be doing it again. The fries. It's good. And the fish. Try it with that sauce. That's so good. I prefer the last one. Really? As in this butter outside have a vibe. But I just prefer the prefer the last one. I think one for the tacos. If you guys did not see that video, I'll drop the link somewhere. Or just go back maybe like four or five videos. Yeah, pretty good dish. Anyway, we're gonna finish this dish really quick. I'm gonna actually use the salad from the last video and add it to this. And remember these three things guys, love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, eat a link. <laughs>